America. We're in Michigan State at the Tourist Info Place. Probably not open, so we're gonna go do the touristy thing, get a picture of the sign, head for some groceries, and then figure out where we're gonna hang out for the day in Michigan. So we're at Lake Superior, but Lake Superior is one of those places that it should almost be its own tour. Mike and I drove to Alaska uh, for our honeymoon and when we hit Lake Superior we were just talked about how we could have spent our whole honeymoon there. Then we've done this trip with the kids and I think we've explored every beach on the Ontario side. This trip we are just going to hit up a couple little spots on the American side of Lake Superior because like I said, could literally spend the whole entire summer just along Lake Superior. It is so gorgeous. <laughs> so how's the weather here on Lake That's Superior? Terrible. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible! That's so cold. So a beach vacation on Lake Superior is never guaranteed. It can range from a hot, sunny 30 degrees where you're swimming in it, or it can be 10 to 15 degrees and you're gonna need a toque, sweaters, and lots lots of layers because it's cold. I guess we missed dirt roads so much that we decided to do a ridiculous dirt road stretch from Muskellunge State Park to Grand Marais. Yeah, the road is rough, it's washboardy, and we all know that in a motorhome that's not ideal. So Mike, how, how fast are you driving here? I'm trying to not go any faster than 10 kilometers an hour or like 5 miles an hour because otherwise it feels like we're going to completely break apart. So the kids have crafts. Really hoping that Grand Marais is pretty. Checking out Sable Falls, which is just a few minutes from Grand Marais. A short hike after the falls. If you continue down the trail, you end up coming out to the Sable Sand Dunes behind us. We're gonna go check them out. This is, uh, Lux makes it look easy. This is actually a lot of work. I'm pretty out of breath. I'm gonna see if I can catch her. She's really far up, still going higher. We're almost at the top. It's a long, long, long way down. Oh, you're like a, like a monkey or a billy goat. Whoa, this is high. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm a sand goat. A sand goat? We made it to the top. Yeah, we did. Yeah, now we're gonna pick a good way down. We gotta pick a but good we way need down. A fun way down. Mom stopped down there waiting for us. It's so fun to climb and sand boy down. I can't wait to see you guys run down. No, we got sand boy. Well, the sable dunes were pretty fun, and now it's to find a place to stay in America. Yeah. See what our options are. Everywhere we go here seems to say, oh, no overnight parking, fines, towed away vehicles, blah, blah, blah. So it's looking to be a little bit trickier to find camping by Lake Superior. We're having pumpkin pie for the first day in America. Post hike, after our first day, we're gonna celebrate with some pumpkin pie. Um, this morning, we're just cooking up some breakfast right here, overlooking a beautiful lake, listening to some loons, and then we might go check out the Devil's Slide, which is another big sand dune, which the kids requested because they had so much fun yesterday. And then we'll start making our way towards Wisconsin. Breakfast is served. We're going 
into the devil's slime. I and like, we're going to slide in the sand dunes or jump off the top. Because we liked it so much yesterday, right? Yeah, and we're also going to eat gummies. Okay, let's go for a hike. Where? Mm -hmm. Who? Where? Did you watch this? Mm -hmm. Where? On your phone. Don't Hold on. Yet. So what did you just read? <laughs> So Michelle just read the sign that apparently at the log slide, not the devil slide, the log slide, it uh, takes only a few seconds to go down, but may take up to an hour to go up. And they're not recommending to go down unless you're in really good shape. So we're not undecided if we're going to go down or not. Here we go, over the edge. This is actually fun. Is, well, it's fun on the way down. We're just walking. It's the way up. Look. So the log slide is about 500 feet down, I believe. We're only going to go down a part way because we don't have all day to climb back up. But it's still pretty cool. Lux is going to go up ahead a little bit. Go ahead. Okay, don't go too far. We'll go up to those twigs and that's it. Okay. 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 So, say that's as far as we're going. That's as far as we're going. Now we're gonna go back up. Okay. You ready to go up? Yeah. Okay. Start climbing. <laughs> Keep going, dude. Yeah. See, it's a good thing we didn't go all the way down then, right? All right, we're at the Devil Slide log slide, something we thought we might be able to like climb down like what we did yesterday. And after reading the list of cautions and seeing how steep it is, we're opting to move on for the day and check something else out. But this was pretty beautiful to look at. We're at Pitchard Rocks National Park, and like I said, you never know what a beach day in Lake Superior is going to be like, so got our sweaters on and ready to hit the beach. There, Lux, how is it? Look how cold! Let's go deeper. No! So cold! It's not that bad. So we're in Marquette, Michigan, and it's July 3rd, but tomorrow is July 4th, and apparently their fireworks are tonight. So we might go watch their fireworks. Happy we, Independence we Day! Probably, um, we'll have to see the fireworks! Hi, subscribers! Happy Independence Day! We found the spot to watch the fireworks from. It looks like a pretty good spot. And lots of boats out in the water, waiting for the fireworks to start. We're gonna compare who does Amer or fireworks better, Canada or America? I feel like Canada. I think America. Join us next time as we make our way through Wisconsin and Minnesota, checking out some cool playgrounds and roadside attractions along the way.